Hey guys and welcome back to another Matchday vlog. Today not sure at home to Chesterfield. Chapter 3 of a not much animosity between the two sets of fans. But the two clubs are quite close geographically. Derby. We have new scoreboards today. We will have new scoreboards today, finally. After so long of waiting. It's been like a year plus since we had a working scoreboard. And now we've got two. It's a 5.20 kickoff. If we win, there is... A good chance we may go back into the playoff places depending on what the full time scores are in the other National League games because they are at this moment all the other teams are playing yeah can we win? I hope so and I hope it starts another good one of form for us come on Knots, come on you pies let's do this just seen the team news massive call made by Neil Ardley Ross starts in goal now Throughout this week, you know, there's been a bit of mind games. John Pemberton has said Ross Fitzsimmons really wants to go back to Chesterfield. Basically, we loaned him to Chesterfield after a week. He had to come back because Sam Slocum was injured. And now we're playing Chesterfield this weekend. Sam Slocum is still not fully fit. And Jake Keane doesn't want to play. He wants to stay in his coaching role. We haven't bought a keeper in. So Ross starts, whatever it is, it puts Ross in the spotlight and it probably puts him under pressure. Kelly Evans plays left back as our normal two left backs, McCrory and Bakayogo are both injured. And Thomas starts up front with Wharton. We should be 2 0 up. We've hit the post, we've hit the bar. We've started well. Yeah. Enzo's ball into the box. I think it was Wallington with the header that hit the post. It hit the sandpit. And it might have changed direction before it hit the post. And then Enzio just hit the bar from a free kick. Always believe in Enzio. Almost punished for not taking their chances. We've had the better of the chances, but we haven't taken them. And then the ref gives Chesterfield a penalty, and Ross Ross saves it against the club he went out on loan to just last week or two weeks ago. In fact, he actually saved it, and he's probably going to go back there next week. Well, in the absence of Simon, I'll give him a half time opinion. Referees at this level are at this level because they are. Rubbish. The fact that our free kick down this end was a red card, he was last man, had to go off. Can't really say about their penalty because it's too far away from where we are. As far as the performance is concerned, I think our midfield's doing well. Our forward line's been pretty poor today. That's what Enzio can do. What a strike. He just ran with the ball through the Chesterfield defence. He 
run with the ball through the Chesterfield defence and released a venomous strike into the top corner. Lovely stop. 1 0 Knox. Come on, let's keep going. Cracking ball in by Roberts, Kyle Wotton was there, I think that's his 10th league goal of the season and his 14th, 13th or 14th overall in all competitions, 2-0 knots, but I wouldn't sit on this now, I wouldn't sit on two goalie, go for more, we've got to finish them off. Keeper spilt it, Kyle Wotton was there to tap it in. Lovely stuff, 3-0. That should do it, hopefully. Callum Roberts and Jim O'Brien have been substituted. Pittsburgh and Tom Crawford have both come on. Yeah, Roberts, brilliant game. Super, he's been quality, Callum Roberts, as, as has MJ Baldwin, as has Jim O'Brien. We've really played well as a unit today. We'd move the ball quicker, and that's how it should be. And not say going up. exciting game but they never are on the telly we've um, managed to get over our dislike for the television cameras man of the match for me was in goal St Simons for us who's come back having gone out on loan to Chesterfield come back after one game saved the penalty in the first half which would have put us 1-0 down St Simons man of the match for me but wouldn't with a couple of goals then to uh, make it 3-0 and we have won back on the road after um, losing that Good second last second week. Ball. Good second yeah. ball. And zero. Jim O'Brien played well. He's got back into the side. Played for the majority of the game as well. And he just helped. He just helped the passing flow better. Kelly Evans was brilliant. Roberts brilliant. NGO as well, put in, put in a good game. Knots 3, Chesterfield nil. A brilliant team performance, bouncing back from last weekend's defeat. Up to 6th, 3 points, 3 goals, a clean sheet, a brilliant victory. We played really well as a unit today. Ross Fitzsimmons, I've got to respect, I've got to give real credit to him for his professionalism after all that's gone on over the last 2 or 3 weeks or, or, or something like that. He played really, he was exceptional. He saved the penalty from Bowden, made two other really good saves, especially one in the second half. A real credit to the club today, Ross, was. O'Brien came into the side, replacing Doyle, and was really good. He made the football just flow so so well through the midfield. Helped Rose out as well. The, the wide men, Roberts and Baldwin, Played really well. Roberts with a really good cross of the second goal. His passing was good. He brought the ball forward. Enzio with another fantastic strike. Another goal of the season contender. He played really well as well. Won the ball back. Brought it forward into the attacking third. And yeah, that fantastic goal caps off a really good performance by the Dutchman. Defensively, we stood up well. Dion Kelly Evans played well at left back out of position. Even though he has, I think he's played there a few times in his career. Yeah, really well with his passing, did well with his passing. And yeah, just all around solid from the Knots defence. Lacey and Rawlinson stood up well to Denton. Like I say, a really good team performance. And we took risks as well. We were braver with our passing. And that's good to see. Because when we do that, we, we, will break, we will break teams down. And we did that. We did that today. We took risks, we were braver, we were more clinical with the passing, with our passing and with the ball, and it got us three points, it got us three goals, and that's 
that's what we should be doing week in week out we should be taking risks being clinical being crucial with our passing inside the final third the, the passing the distribution from one player to another today was just a lot quicker it was sharper the passing was sharper it was quicker and that's how it needs to be week in week out an excellent team performance everyone was on it also kai watton getting his first two goals for not since joining permanently yeah, let's keep this going. More consistent performances like the one today and we can get further up the league table. If you enjoyed the vlog, give it a like, comment down below your thoughts on the game. Stay subscribed if you're subscribed, subscribe if you're new. Send in your questions as well for the next vlog. Also, watch out on Twitter because I'll be revealing the winner of the Kyle Wotton Pride of Nottingham print as well soon. So look out for that. Be safe, be champions and as always, Toulouse.